Let's jump into the talk about impeachment. Before we get to that, you know, it's so funny because last week we had a clip that we forgot. I forgot to play it when we came back from the break. And that was the Trump campaign's response to the Joe Biden, you know, quit pro Joe, as he's being called now, quit pro Joe. Well, remember how he says that, you know, um, President Trump is is trying to intimidate people, et cetera. And we played for you last week a clip of Quit Pro Joe actually bragging about how he intimidated uh, the Ukrainian administration. And, you know, what's interesting is the Trump campaign came out with this audio and video clip, and we've just converted it to audio so you can hear it now. And I think you'll find this a little bit funny. So let's roll that. Wait a second. Not one single credible outlet has given any credibility to his assertion. Not one single one. (laughs) Now to our ABC News investigation this morning into Joe Biden's son, Hunter, and questions about money he made from foreign business dealings while his father was vice president. You have a big story uh, tonight on the New York Times website. Tomorrow, page one of the print edition. Was Hunter Biden profiting off his dad's work as vice president, and did Joe Biden allow it? We're talking about millions of dollars in at least two countries. We have uh, Joe Biden as vice president having intervened to uh, sort of force the firing of a Ukrainian prosecutor who happened to have an open case looking into a company, a Ukrainian gas company that was employing Joe Biden's son. There's no reason to pay Hunter Biden $50,000 a month. Uh, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden worked for a natural gas company in Ukraine, which is totally fair game. Uh, Did the vice president's son use his dad's influence to make money somewhere in the world? That's totally fair game. Potential conflict of interest there that I think Joe Biden will have to answer for. Hunter Biden's work with the company reportedly sparked concern among State Department officials. But was it right for Hunter Biden to take a job like that in Ukraine while his father was engaged in diplomacy there? There is a story here. Uh, We've told some of it. There's more to be told. I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. If the prosecutor's not fired, if the prosecutor's not fired, if the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Think about that. Now, all you're hearing now is that this issue has already been dealt with and there's no there there, right? That's what the media is telling you. That's what Joe Biden's out there saying. Oh, everybody's looked into this and there's no there there. Well, actually, in fact, as you heard from that clip, a lot of national media people, and you probably recognize some of their voices on that clip there, a lot of them have talked about this and have looked into this, and a lot of people say it's a problem. And folks, just use your common sense here. That's what I would advocate. Use your common sense, and you answer the question for me. What was Hunter Biden paid $3.1 million for? He got paid $3.1 million by Burisma, at 50000 bucks a month. Boy, that's a job I'd love to have, $50,000 a month. Can you imagine that? Mm-hmm. Can, I mean, can you imagine making that kind of money? I mean, that's insane. What was he doing? He had no experience in the natural gas and energy sector. None. He had little to no experience in private equity. So what is it that they hired him for? Can you answer that question? He I was mean, hand, handing out flyers. Yeah, he was... Uh, <laughs> Exactly. Right. He he was dancing uh, with one of those signs in the streets of Kiev, Ukraine. Right. He was dancing with one of those signs. that says, in- buy Burisma gas. <laughs> That's what they, you know, hey, look, this is, these are hard jobs to come by and we really need somebody very skilled. I did read some stories that he was dancing a little bit too much with uh, some partying. Well, I mean, too. he was just thrown out of his Navy position. I mean, this was a couple of months before he got this Burisma job. He was thrown out for testing positive for cocaine. So, you know, he's a party animal. I guess that's where the $50,000 a month was going. You know, just ask Johnny Depp. I guess you can spend that kind of money on cocaine. But just ask, use your common sense, folks. What did he do that was worth $3.1 million? The son of the U.S. vice president, the guy who was the administration's point person for Ukraine. What did he do for $3.1 million? Stick around, folks. We're coming right back on The Morgan Streetman Show. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.